Hey everybody, hi. Welcome to another science experiment. Um, this week we have more about pressure, about air and water pressure, and how they kind of interact with one another and, and kind of get along. Um, this is kind of a neat experiment. This is another one I, I've never done, or at least I don't remember ever doing it. It doesn't require that many materials. Uh, you do need an adult to help you because it involves a candle and a match or flame. Um, but, you know, not much. They probably, it just takes a minute or two to do the experiment, so it's pretty easy. Um, hopefully a lot of, um, particularly second and third graders, can be trying number six these days. Um, maybe some first graders could too. And just to try it, just to be brave and guess as to why the experiment works the way it does. We generally don't like ask people to do corrections on number six. We just want to hear your thoughts. Um, <clears throat> remember the format of these videos. Um, I'll show the experiment, but you should pause it before I give away the result. Just pause the video, make sure you've made your prediction. You've written all the way through number four before you see the result that I get. Or you could even just pause it and then you do the experiment. That's even better if you can. Um, but let me show you how to do it. So I've got a little candle. This would work with a tall candle, but it's trickier. You have to attach the candle somehow and have a bigger glass. And it's nice if you have one of these short ones. Um, it's going to be hard to see in the video, but there is water in this dish. And I'm going to put the um, candle in there. I'm going to add a little food coloring just in case you can see it. So you don't need food coloring for yours, though. It's kind of fun. I'm going to add a little bit of green. And I probably should have had some way to stir that a little bit, but <laughs> maybe it'll look kind of cool, kind of artistic. <clears throat> so it's not really spread out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, then you, with an adult's help, or them doing this part, need to light the candle. And kind of just leave the candle in the dish. Okay. Um, and then the experiment, <clears throat> just to be clear, is not about what happens to the flame. Well, that's a tiny flame. Hopefully you have more of a wick and can get a better flame. We know what's going to happen to that flame once we cover it with a glass. The flame's going to go out. We've talked about that before. It runs out of oxygen. So the question is really what happens to the water in the dish, which you are going to probably have a hard time seeing in the video, which is maybe good because I want you to think on your own and, and try it on your own if you can. So I'm going to just invert, that means turn upside down this glass and cover the candle and see if I can get this to work. <laughs> So if you haven't already, pause it and make sure you've gotten number four written, what you, your prediction. Okay, the candle's still lit. <clears throat> it's a small enough flame, maybe it won't, it'll take a minute to, ooh. Okay, the candle burn out and it's very noticeable to me, because I have a better view than you all, what happened to the water just then. You won't miss it. I, I think if you're looking, you won't miss what happens to the water. It's pretty neat. <clears throat> and so hopefully you've paused it, and I'll give a little bit of the answer away for number five and six. Okay. Um, so if you've tried it or you're ready to see the result, what happened is the um, water got sucked up in, into the cup. In fact, it's almost covering up the candle. That much water got sucked into the cup. I sort of thought it might be the opposite, that the that air could push out the water and the dish could get sort of, the water could get pushed out. I wasn't sure. Um, but sort of in summary, the when the candle burns out, it cools off a little inside the, inside the glass and the air in there, um, which causes it to be of lower pressure than outside the glass. Things want to go wherever there's lower pressure. That's what we've been learning about. And so the water gets sucked into the glass because it's lower pressure after the candle dies off. Kind of cool. 
All right, hope you guys enjoy. Keep loving science. Thanks.